Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Moderator to set up lively on class, in class online discussions. So Google Moderator was a tool originally designed for large group presentations or speakers where the audience would be able to go in and submit a question or idea for the panel or the speaker and viewers of the website could go in, rate the question saying they like it or don't like it and obviously the top questions would be the ones that eventually got asked to the panel or to the guest speaker. Well, I found a use for it in the classroom that I think you're going to like. So here's Google Moderator after you've created an account. And to set up a question for your students, you click Create Series. And let's say, for example, I'm going to create Monday's quick question. And so down here, I would write the, write the question. So the question might be, should Cortez be remembered as a hero or a villain? And that would be the question that I would give to my students. So now, um, the students are not going to be submitting questions. They're going to be submitting you know, suggestions or ideas here. And I'm going to let them submit responses to some of their teammates' ideas as well. So I click Create Series, and now it's all set up. I could even submit my own idea to the question if I'd like, and it would tag it Mr. Sanders. If you go back to Google Moderator, the main page, and you click on your series, Monday's Quick Question. This is the screen that you see. And now here's what, where you're going to be able to share it with your students so that they can know where to find it. So I click Share, and there's obviously several ways here to share it. Um, what I do is I create a link and put it on my, my class website. You might want to email it to them directly, or however you want to do it. So once they've gotten the link, they're able to log in and answer the quick question. And let's take a look at some of the uses that we've done, or some examples. So last week, the quick question was, you know, basically what I did here was, should Cortez be remembered as a hero or a villain? You know, 60 ideas or 60 people submitted 59 ideas, and there was 620 votes on them. So what the votes actually represent is a student going in, reading one of their teammates' ideas, and voting on whether or not they liked it. So let's take a look at some of the ideas. So here... You can see that all the ideas show up and they're ranked right now based on popularity. You can rank them or sort them by date or sort them by what's hot, meaning what's gotten positive votes most recently. So if you go down, you can see all the student ideas. This one had 16 likes, three people who did not like it. Um, and here's where you see that person responses. So this student wrote in their opinion and then three of their teammates went in and actually responded to it you know, agreeing or disagreeing with what they had wrote. So I think the best use of Google Moderator is having or getting all of the students to participate in a discussion where you don't have students sitting in the back of your classroom not participating or toning out. Like, they have to get in there, read their teammates' responses, and hold each other accountable for participating. And I think it's a great tool that should be used in classrooms on a regular basis.